Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. In today's Collier Quick Tips video, we are going to do a search in Discovery for an article title, and then we are going to explore ways to get to the full text of that article. I'm actually gonna use two different articles, and the first one I'll place in here in the Discovery search. I can either do it there, or I could click Advanced Search and get to the screen that's getting ready to appear uh, and search from there. But for this search, I'm going to get two different results, okay? These are both for the same article here. And you notice that one says that I have the direct to PDF link. The other one is asking me for to check for full text at UNA. I can use either one of these. It doesn't matter to get to the article. But let me show you the direct to PDF first. So anytime there's a PDF link or a direct to PDF link, I simply click that. It's going to use an extension called libkey and it's going to find that pdf right there on the screen ready to go so that's the quickest most efficient way to get to an article if that option is present if it isn't you might have something that says for check to check for full text at una same idea you click that and it's going to tell you different places that we hold uh, that subscription the journal subscription or the periodical subscription. And in this case, it says we have it here and it gives us an opportunity to find that article uh, via full text finder. So I click that and guess what? Same thing happened. I've got the PDF ready to go. So that was direct to PDF, PDF link or a check for full text link. I'm gonna use a different article title now and I'm gonna show it where it knows it's in another database that we have uh, access to. And in this case, it is in the ERIC database. You see right here, it says full text from ERIC. So if I click that, I get this page with the ERIC record up. And with these, you gotta do a little bit more investigation. Uh, we do own it, and I know that we own it. And by the way, this, is the Lib Li Lean Library extension popping up here. So you could download that and it would know immediately where to go to for that. So I could use that if I wanted to. But I also noticed right here that it says there's a direct link to that Eric document. And if I click that, now it's gonna start looking like it did before. Working in the background, waiting, attempting to find that PDF or however that uh, document is stored. I might go ahead and just click that to get to it faster. And here we go. Now I know that uh, this is my article here. I've got, uh, this is the full text in the screen if I wanted to use that. Also PDF link here if needed. So uh, I know this has been a very quick video, kind of a run through on what's going on there. If you don't have a PDF link, a direct to PDF link, a full text link, or a find full text at UNA. If it says nothing more than maybe learn more about this source or gives you an option to use an interlibrary loan, you probably are gonna have to uh, use interlibrary loan for that. We do recommend downloading Lean Library so it can uh, check a little bit more in the background. But if we don't have access to it, that's when you have to use interlibrary loan. But if it says something like this, full text, PDF, anything that indicates that we have access to it, we do and you can use these steps uh, to get to it. If you need any help, don't hesitate to reach out to uh, your friends at Collier Library. We're here to help you. We're happy to stop by. Thanks so much. Have a great day.